Well, good evening, YouTube. We're out here in the sled shed, and I'm going to show you my 1978 John Deere liquefier, and we're going to call this liquefier 2 because I think I have another one on YouTube. So we'll call this the brother of the brother. But I just finished it. As you can see, it has a, a brand new jet black paint job and the custom liquefier graphics on it. I just applied those last night. Has a brand new snow stuff windshield with these cool looking window darts really make it look clean. Might not be completely original. Original was just a screw but the screw is under here. It's just these plastic caps. Just clean it clean the look up. The 78's were kind of a sled of their own. I think I looked on JD website last night and they made around 2,000 of these uh, uh, 440's. Uh, they made them from September to November so they, they made 2,000 in about a couple months so that's pretty good. As you can see it's got good skis on it. I put new wear bars on them and these uh, ski shock absorber plates here for where your your leaf spring rubs. Uh, they have a unique vent here and your radiators right behind that. Uh, this 76 if you remember had the the grills on the side while well, they they changed this in 78 and they didn't keep this because this was the last uh, last year of the liquefier two. Then they went into the new generation three, I think. So um, you'll see it's a pretty sharp looking sled. I almost should keep this sled. It's so nice. Um, come around here. It's got a new 50 below cold crack seat cover on it. I put a new uh, mitten pull handle on it here. Let's see. Look at the dash. It's got. Uh, I had to put a new speedometer, clean the drive, and put a new cable on it. It does have the original tack here. There's a little bit of moisture in there, but I think it'll dry out. I think when I power wash the sled. I must have got a little moisture in there but that should go away. I had to put a brand new uh, temperature gauge on it so that's all new and I put a new uh, choke lever on it. So you see it's got the new uh, it's got the John Deere keychain then it's got a brand new fuel gauge and cap on it. It's got your uh, your emergency stop here there's just a little bit of chip on that and we've got the dimmer switch and that's the same way it's got a little bit of chip on it I would replace them but they're impossible to find you absolutely cannot find any new switches for these round index switches so but as long as it works it should be fine it's just got a small little piece missing Let's see, we'll come around here to the back. It has a good um, grab bar, and as you can see, it's got the, the tail on the end, so that bolts down to your, uh, your rail here, so it makes a nice solid connection, but it's a very nice grab bar. Got a really good uh, snow flap on it. I think I might eat, well, I don't know if I put a new tail light lens in that or not. might be the original. But that's pretty much on the outside what you have. Uh, really the, the graphics really make this sled pop. Um, they're pretty colorful and unique to this year. We're going to open up the hood here. Okay, 
Okay, we'll give you a little shot of the hood. It's got the, the air intake plate still there. Uh, it's got your, your hood prop here, and then it's got your emergency cable over there. Um, what we got there is the, the Coritz uh, 440 engine in these sleds, uh, liquid cooled. We're going to come around the other side and I show you better. They've got the small radiator up the top that goes with the vent in the hood. And then down in, in the tunnel, there's a tunnel cooler in there. And uh, as the track rotates, it throws up snow on that tunnel cooler. So it's got two ways of cooling it. Um, very nice muffler. No rust out on that. And you can see the engine here. What I did with this engine, let's see. Well, it was out. I mean, the, the engine compartment was all painted and clean. So the engine was out. I did I did put new crank seals in this engine. Let's see. I'm thinking. And it has a brand new uh, CDI box on it. I think I was having trouble. It wouldn't um, it wouldn't rev up. So I had to pull the engine out again and replace the stator on it because the high speed uh, coil was out. That's pretty common in these John Deere sleds so that's what was done to this engine. But otherwise the pistons look just like new and it, I, it's got like 125-30 pound compression on each side so I mean it's got fantastic compression. There's no leaks in the cooling system. I've had it for here sitting for quite a few days. There's absolutely no leaks in it. Has the original air box and of course has the two two carb Makuni carbs on it, which has the original jet settings and it was set to factory specs. Whoever gets this, you're going to have to make sure you check the jetting on it for when you ride it. So it's a jetted ride it so you don't burn down a piston. It has uh, new blue fuel lines in it. It has a shut off and filter. And then in the tank, the tank was flushed. Uh, it has a new pickup line in it and a new anti-backflow filter on it. So it'll keep the gas up and it'll make it easier to start. All the lights work in it. The, all three dash, uh, you've got the speedometer, your tack, and your heat gauge. All of those lights work. Tail light works. Um, so everything works on the sled. As you can see, it's got the overflow cooling bottle down in here. That's all there. Um, we're going to do a startup for you. I did have to do... There really wasn't any repair on this hood. The only thing is the hood bracket had come loose uh, from the hood. So I had to refiberglass this. So that was the only glass work I did on the hood. But as far as the hood, it was not broke or damaged in any way. I just had to sand it down and repaint it. And another thing, when I repainted this sled, it was totally primed. And then uh, three coats of the jet black paint on it. So it's got a very good coat of paint on it. But I'm going to set the camera down. We're going to do a start up here for you. As you can see, she starts up great idles. Uh, these 440s have the heavy duty Comet clutch on them. You won't find that on the 340s. The 440s have that. Um, but it's just a fantastic sled. It's a beautiful sled, and I think it'd be something you'd be very proud to have in your garage. Um, 
but this is going to be on eBay, so uh, it's a little smoky in here right now, but I don't know of anything else I can tell you, but I did go through the sled end for end, and anything that needed replaced, I did or refurbished it. The track was not removed from this sled, but uh, I did check all the bearings in it. The bearings are all good. Let's see, the chain case, I did change the oil in the chain case, so that's all ready to go. So it's been all checked over, and the only thing you should need to do before you ride it the first time is, like I said, check the jetting. Uh, you might have to do some minor tweaking on the carbs as far as idle and everything, but uh, it should be ready for the snow. When it happens next year, I don't think we're going to be able to ride them this year, but you'll be ready to go in the fall. Thank you.